Hey, this is Craig Lane with Video Blog Week 39. Got a little behind on these, so we're going to get do a few catch-ups tonight. This one, Week 39, is basically the same thought processes as being the fall season, entering fall, and the metal element, lung, large intestine, kind of bodily organ energies up, and the emotion of grief and letting go, letting go of the season, letting go of the warmth, letting go of the light. It's a natural process you know, as part of this year, and so... It's a good time of year to learn the discernment um, between when to fight for something and when to let go. And um, I know my life has been a, more about an imbalance between the two on extremes, like holding on too much when fighting too hard for things that aren't worth fighting for or that are causing harm, and then letting go too easily of things that maybe needed to fight for them. And, there's an extreme there at times, and then there's another extreme of um, instead of not fighting for something I should have, maybe I fought for something I should have let go of, or you know, there's all these different combinations of things, and I think that um, I hold on. The other one is where I hold on a bit too much to things that you know that maybe just holding on too tight in general. There's a, so there's always this different combination to that. You can hold on too tight things that maybe you should hold on tight to, or maybe you shouldn't. But in the end, um, it's the discerning point of like, when am I going to fight? When am I going to let go? And sometimes there's those decisions where when, even when the decision arises, as I've learned, you know, maybe it's a better thing to go back to how did I get out of the flow of just being in um, like riding a wave where there's not much thought involved and it just where things are kind of going by feel a bit. And, um, then when that decision point comes, you know, it's like, okay, I am in the decision point and there's a decision maker now. So what's the decision maker going to base the choice on, you know? And so it goes back to maybe, am I going to thrive or am I going to tolerate from the previous video blog? And with leading a cleanse right now, there's some of this stuff comes up. Um, when am I going to let go of some foods that I know are sort of bad for me? How am I going to find what thrives for me? And then, you know, I think another form of a cleanse that I may begin to lead or basically like elimination diet cleanses where people get together and they just go together down to some real bare bones basics that they know are working for them. Like I think chia seeds is a good staple, staple as any and brown rice gruel is another one and for some people and for other people it's like raw eggs and veggies and even meat juice and, you know, sh being bone broths and you, know, you just never know where it might go for some people but there's a definitely a food they can take for a number of days and then start building things in you know usually three or four weeks is a good time to do any elimination and so get the body a chance to reset and there can be you know it would need to be supervised because there's going to be a lot of detoxing going on that's the other thing about you know oftentimes we need to let go of more in today's world in this time of year um, there are things that are just in our body that we, I know need to get out of people um, especially heavy metals and chemicals that, you know, it's fairly obvious to me when I look in people's eyes and their tongues and take my assessments that we're looking at some universally, some problems. Um, what I'm seeing universally is lymphatic, especially in the chest and lower back tension and things on the spine showing up, and the calcification and hardening and, um, and it's basically because we're, we're not listening and that's back to, you know, we're, Sometimes we're fighting for things, you know, look at those cue cards every now and then. We get back to the point and then a big long rant. So sometimes it's, it's, we're fighting too hard to hold on to old habits. And then it drives these decisions because of what occupies our body. You know, they have a certain microbes have a certain intelligence and consciousness that we don't give enough credit for them in terms of cravings and how we're sometimes we're not the decision maker, so to speak. Um, there's another thing deciding and we like to give ourselves control, but I mean, ultimately we're not doing much of anything and there's just a happening and in that happening, we give ourselves so much credit, but sometimes it's just like, there's something that's always and already let go. And it's kind of always in that. And we just kind of snap out of it. And these MTV moments that we tend to do is snapshot, you know, take snapshots of reality and think that's reality and, you know, call the picture reality or the picture of the runner, the runner, you know, like we do with vitamins and, nutrients which are living processes and 
we say it's a chemical this or that and chemicals are dead and that's the whole point that seems to be lost here is chemicals are dead and living things cause different change in the body and they have different patterns you know you have left and right handed molecules oh they look the same but they don't actually act the same in the body and chemical isomers that are unnatural or all kinds of form man-made molecules that are trying to make them look like nature and we're not told that and there's only a few people that actually I think really recognize this and so these natural molecules they have a natural shape and cause a natural energetic frequency and so you know it's this thing like we're holding on to these things because they're like magnets attract, attracted to iron in a sense because we're full of all these toxic metals and chemicals so there's universal stagnation especially in the, like I said in the chest lymph and a lot of just congestion in the pelvic, pelvic area everybody you know ranging from perverted reflexes in the nerves to hardening to spasms and poor blood flow which has its own set of problems usually you know varicose veins prolapse hemorrhoids stuff like that you know that, that appear in the legs but it's often because of the pelvic congestion so bad so you know then there's a sense of some people that I was one of those where it'd just be easy my large intestine is always loose so things were letting being let go of too easily and on the counter side, I'd hold on to things. On the other side, you know, lungs are tight, and so holding on up here. Um, so it's a little bit of a rant, but it's, there's some value in this, I think, just because um, this time of year, there's this discernment. I have another video blog I'm going to I'm going to talk about in a little while, um, and probably not tonight, but it's really sitting with things and um, seeing, like you know, there's a discernment point that sort of the lesson, moral of the story for both things is it's about choice and we're choosing to thrive or tolerate. And if we're unconscious, chances are it's sort of we're going to less tolerate. And then, you know, I don't tolerate fight much, but I know sort of like I was talking to my girlfriend tonight about leverage, you know, taking risks. And so some of like fighting is sort of calculated risk. Like, okay, if I fast for five days, am I going to... Um, thrive as much in the long run the release of toxins and energy and you know stale stuff is, is amazing when that one just fasts and lays around and just really sits with oneself um that's a lot of what my macrobiotic experience was when i was living in new england was i was getting a lot of food in my body actually but i was sort of starving because it was all light sort of vegetarian vegan fare excuse me it was vegan fare more than anything there was no dairy at all um so you know, like cheese was like the devil it's so funny to me now, um, you know, when you throw out a good protein source um, that, you know, it's congestive for sure, but there are ways, antidotes to that, and, you know, I'm not talking about that. So there's things that, you know, are gummy, and those are another point in terms of food. Cheese causes us to hold on to things because it's sticky and gooey, and so there's a certain emotional state like that, too. There's sticky, and others are not, and so, you know, when to fight, when to let go, I think that's, um, is a, the thing to take away here is it's nice to have a takeaway. My intention was just to offer one simple truth and a couple of stories to back it up. And the final simple truth here is feeling. Take a breath. And close our eyes. And am I going to fight or am I going to just let go here? And sometimes it's not so black and white, but just feeling into the answer. And we'll just know. Um, and of course, we can use this tool. We need to calculate whether we're going to fight or let go. But oftentimes, with lower end stuff and what we need to do and cleansing, is just let go more. It is my suggestion to lean? We lean in a certain direction, and it's like when we're playing tennis. You know, we lean in a certain direction. Sometimes it's too high. Sometimes it's too low. Sometimes we hit it just right. It's kind of how it is in life. You know, um, sometimes we hit it just right, and that's the dance. It's just to look for. We know that we've missed the mark so to speak then we look back to like was there recycling did i shame myself because i wasn't letting go enough or fighting enough or you know for not thriving in some way of self-sabotage and um, so some wonderful tools to use and just exploring this inner world and how to keep things a little more clear we spend so much time out in the outer world trying to secure everything out here but it's just you know that whole old notion of repent you know it's like Bring it back. <laughs> You're looking out in the wrong way. You're too far out here. Bring your attention back inside in this whole other inner world. But the priests would call that blasphemy, and you know it's sort of ridiculous in today's world. But people still 
don't believe and that's the way it's always been and always will be you know just the mark of the Dow so hope you all have a wonderful time video blog week 39 uh, when to fight and when to let go